Hello, my nerds, and welcome back to The Legend of Dragoon, right here on Missile Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. And you guys found yet yeah, another Legend of Dragoon video. Thank you. I'm, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Special shout out to those of you watching in the premieres every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern. Thank you guys so much. Uh, sincerely enjoy hanging out with you guys. You, you make the channel go round, let me tell you. This is a big episode. This, my friends, is the last episode. Okay, well, the last episode before the point of no return, and then all of the episodes that we have to do that were all the optional bosses and all that awesome stuff. Uh, but this is a really cool one, and I've, I'm really looking forward to this. In this episode, we are heading to the Death City Mayfield, because in the last episode, we completed everything that we could do in Zinabatos, including defeating the three winged executioners, Victor, Celebus, and Kubia, or Kubilla. Uh, but unfortunately, we were too late to save the Signet Sphere and it was destroyed by Zeke. And now only one Signet Sphere remains. And that, my friends, is in the Death City Mayfield. Now, we have to teleport there because at the very end of the episode, we actually saw Kulan said that he couldn't fly there uh, because the, it was, the skies were too thick with spirits? Look at this. Oh my god. Gosh. Hmm. Over 11,000 years and it still leads souls to hell. Maybe it is connected to the devildom. <laughs> it doesn't matter now. The plan determined by Soa will drink everything to the last drop. Hmm. Zeke, man, I don't know. You straight up evil, dude. And the party has officially arrived in Death City Mayfill. Look at how awesome this place is. Honestly, one of my favorite areas in the entire Legend of Dragoon. The battles that we fight here, the story that happens here. I just, I just love it, my friends. Rose, uh, what is that? When there were still winglies here, they used to suck souls from all over the world into that huge tower, so they could decide the destination of their souls. But... why? Hmm. You want to say it should have been destroyed during the Dragon Campaign, don't you? I do. Both Agilus and Zinabatos were working. It shouldn't be that strange. No, but we destroyed this place completely, so that they could never play with souls. But, maybe this is... Do the souls that couldn't completely die gather here? I don't like this. Hmm. But, whatever happens, as long as the moon is in the sky, we are fine. The Signet Sphere is still safe. Indeed. Hurry up. We have to get there before Dad. Are you really gonna call him dad? He's Zeke, man. He's a monster. You haven't known him since you were like five years old, Dart. Relax. Anyways, we're gonna move on. And we're right off the bat going to get into a really cool battle. So let's head on in and get get this. Some of the optional bosses that we can fight here in Mayfield are indeed fights that we've done in the past. This is the spirit. The soul of Fairbrand the Green Tusk Dragon. That is Fairbrand? It came out in response to the Dragoon Spirit of Albert. You said souls that couldn't completely die gather here. So, is it the same for dragons? Yes. Probably the defeat by humans who were supposed to be less powerful than them became a burden on their soul. If we kill it again, we can probably break the attachment. But, we don't have time to deal with them. No, we don't. I feel sorry, but we have to catch up with Zeke or the world will end. <laughs> That's cute, Rose, not my world. Anyways, as soon as you run into the boss, we will have a battle, my friends. It seems we tempted it into fighting with us. Is there no choice? You know what, we have no time. I'll cut your attachment now. You're darn too and you're gonna cut its attachment. This is Fairbrand, the spirit of Fairbrand. 8,000 HP, wind spirit, or wind elemental, I should say. 
The last time we fought Fairbrand, it had 460 health, so you could say this thing's been buffed a little bit. It'll fight exactly like it has in the past. You'll see that it'll use a physical attack there, and you'll also notice that my party is looking beautiful with an Albert, a Kongle, and a Dart in our party. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm actually gonna cast a uh, a speed up on Kongle here. And I can't wait to show you guys why I'm choosing Kongle. Albert is obvious, right? Uh, but the reason for Kongle is, well, you'll see. We'll go ahead and use the speed down on Fairbrand's spirit here. Remember, it's going to fight exactly the same. It's not even really going to use any wind-based attacks or anything. So you're not going to have to worry about too much. So we're going to have to use a power down here on the Fairbrand Dragoon spirit. And I really need to use a power up on Kongle as well. So we'll go ahead and use that, and then hopefully Kongo will get a turn. Now, I really, really want to do this without anybody else attacking because it, it really is awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and guard with Dart and Albert. All right, perfect. I don't even have to. So watch this. Kongo special coming at you, baby. Now, it is worth mentioning that I did equip Kongle with a magical ring getting into this fight and a phoenix plume, which will raise his magic attack just enough, my friends, where we... Okay, I, I, I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to spoil... This is amazing. It's an amazing moment. Ready? His golden dragon. His dragoon level 5 spell that we haven't seen yet whatsoever. An earth-based attack against a wind-based dragon spirit. Watch and learn, my friends. Also, I love the design of this dragon. Not what I expected as all, at all. And 8,073 damage. We just one shot the dragon spirit of Fairbrand. And Rose said we didn't have time. You fibber. Anyways, for that fight, we'll get 200 gold, a downburst item, no matter what, and 4,000 experience. You'll notice that my levels are very, very high. Uh, too high for this point in the game, which is why everyone doesn't have the best equipment that they possibly could at this point. Now the soul of Fairbrand is saved? Yes, probably. Now, let's get going. We have to stop Zeke, my friends. So, let's continue on. Now, something that is worth mentioning about Mayfill is all of the random encounters here are going to be darkness-based, and all of them uh, can instantly be killed by using a uh, the Psych Bomb X right now. No joke. So right there, we got a Poison Guard. Perfect, because we can sell that. We'll go ahead and use this Teleporter here, which will bring us to a next area where we can actually get two items. But yes, none of the... there. Are, okay, I shouldn't say none of. There are some cool fights here, random encounters, that give some very interesting items. Right there, we picked up a Panic Guard, and we'll probably get into our first random encounter right here. And it's against a Specter and an Undead Enemy. The Undead Enemy, like I said, is Darkness Base, 616 health, and has a chance of dropping the Mind Purifier with an 8% chance. And the Specter Enemy here is, uh, again, a Darkness Base Enemy with 286 health and has an 8% chance of dropping a Midnight Terror, but... I want to show you something real quick, and that is the effect of Psych Bomb X. In fact, I'm not even going to do anything. I'm just going to use it. It's going to sit there at 100%. Absolutely eliminates them. And the Spectre has a whopping 250 for a magic defense stat, which is almost the highest it can be. One of the highest magic defense in the entire game, by the way. And we're able to take it out with, a, with just using Psych Bomb. And I'll get into that a little bit later, and I'll, uh, I'll bring something up about this area in particular and defeating enemies that quickly once we actually get there. Right there, we can pick up a Protector, which blocks the uh, arm blocking status. So we're getting a bunch of status affliction reducing or preventing items here. Almost every single one in the game can be picked up here in Mayfield. You'll also notice that when we use the Teleporter, our uh, combat uh, goes away or our our re chance of a random encounter something to keep in mind as you proceed 
and we'll run across here and grab another item, which is a stun guard. And then we'll run all the way back. Very neat. And then we'll just run back here and go this way, which is the way we need to go to face yet another dragon spirit. This time, we face Regal, which I also changed my party for. Let's go ahead, run into it, and mine sparkling. This should be the soul of Regal. It says, kill me. He doesn't want to go to hell. Dart, it'll be over quick. Let's save Regal. Yes. Let's do it, my friends. Now we're taking down the water dragon. The spirit of Regal. 12,000 health on this baby with, of course, water elemental. Which means that you don't really need to switch a party up, but I'm going to go in with Miru and Rose just because I think that that is the story. Uh, it befits the story a little bit, having Rose take down the spirit. Now, Regal will fight almost exactly like it does in the battle in the uh, undersea cavern that we fought it. Or Prison Island, I should say. This is a tsunami attack. But yeah, it'll fight almost exactly like it has in the past, which isn't that big of a deal. 12,000 health, like I said. We'll get a whopping 6,000 experience when we defeat this baby so quickly, by the way. So it still uses Tsunami, which we just saw. Dragon Whip and Pulse Burst. A thousand damage done to Dart there, just because... You know, Tsunami being so effective. But we're going to use Rose right away to put a speed down over on Regal, who is pretty fast, actually. But very weak to physical attacks. We'll also go ahead and do a power down on the Dragon Spirit as well here. And Dart is actually going to use a power up uh, a power up on himself. And hopefully we get another turn. Perfect. We'll use a speed up on Dart as well. Of course, Miru has to be in this fight because, you know, it's her spirit. She's the water dragoon. Now, we have a, another attack from Rose that we don't really need, but I'm going to go ahead and use Psych Bomb X because we have it. Very, very low Psych Bomb X on that one, but should still do a couple thousand damage. 3,000 damage. I was not expecting that out of Rose, who doesn't have any magical equipment whatsoever. And now we're going to go ahead and pop Dart's Dragoon Special. Think about it. A powered up Dart using Final Burst against a powered down Spirit of Regal. Oh, man. We are going to do some serial damage, baby. And of course, it being Dart's Dragoon special means that all of the uh, the tsunami that the Dragon Spirit can use is actually going to be significantly weakened as well. Of course, so does Miru's magic, but that's okay. And watch how much damage this final burst does. Now, it's not going to be a Kongul one-shotting <laughs> one fair random, but it is going to be pretty nice. It's too bad that Dart's Dragon his level 5 magic doesn't do more because it would be so fun to one-shot another boss. 6,759 damage out of Dart. Absolutely unbelievable. And Regal's going to be attacking us again with just a normal melee attack that does 62 damage. What are you even up to, my bud? We'll go ahead and use Miru's basic addition here. Not that we even need to. Should do about a thousand damage. Perfect. And does Rose get a turn before Dart? Oh, we get another turn out of Regal. Good for him. I'm so proud. Using Pulse Burst on us, so we got to see all three of his attacks that he typically will use. That <laughs> does no damage. Oh my gosh. It's worth mentioning, I don't even have the Armor of Legend or Legend Cast or any of that equipped right now. Another Tsunami Regal getting fast on us. Look at how little damage Tsunami does when they're in Dragoon form. Absolutely redonkulous. We're going to go ahead and use Dart's perfect addition here because it's his special to go ahead and finish the fight against Regal. Boom, baby. Absolutely demolished that fight. 2,647 damage out of that. 
basic Dragoon Edition. Would have been a little overkill to use another Final Burst. Even if it's fun. We get a Frozen Jet, 300 gold and 6,000 experience for that fight. Miru and Kongo both leveled up. Miru to 39 and Kongo to level 38. And yes, I am over leveled for this part of the game. He says he's okay, and he won't be overwhelmed by the power of Mayfill anymore. Hurry up! We have to catch up with Dart's father. Uh, I'm Dart. Who just said your father? Anyways, let's go! I also went ahead and changed my party out. Now it's going to be, you know, the best party. Dart, Miranda, and Miru. And we want to head this way first so that we can run all the way back over here. Kind of a hidden spot, to be honest with you. And again, remember, the power of Psych Bomb X means everything that you face in here can instantly die. But hopefully we encounter some new enemies. But it wasn't, so whatever. We'll go ahead and grab this item that we saw earlier on the first screen, and it looked like we couldn't reach it. Burn Active Ring, which we have seen before. Like I said, they're just giving us a bunch of status-blocking uh, accessories right now. Kind of useless. Anyways, we want to head back over to where we were before we ran over this kind of hidden path. And look at, isn't it such a nice area? And we only have one way we can go, which is this teleporter here, which leads to yet another boss fight. This one could be very challenging. This is the spirit of the divine dragon. Is this the soul of the divine dragon? Even the king of dragons has attachments after its death. It is because he is the King of Dragons that he cannot get rid of his pride. When the Signet Sphere is destroyed, the moon will fall. Uh, Miranda, what? The moon is still up there, Dart. Now is the only chance we have to save the soul of the Divine Dragon. Oh, Miranda, you are good peeps, man. Let's do it. We will take the pride of the Divine Dragon. Here we go. One of the harder optional bosses that you can fight in the entire game and I'm gonna break it. <laughs> uh, so I'm ready if you're ready. We're going in with a battle, a battle party of Dart, Miru, and Miranda. Miranda's turn right off the bat. She's gonna go ahead and actually cast a speed down on the divine dragon spirit here, which will fight almost exactly the same as its counterpart, just like the other two spirits, uh, except for it won't use its fear-based attack. So keep that in mind. We also are going to go ahead now that it's uh, her uh, Miru's turn, we'll go ahead and power down speed down power down the spirit darts turn now he'll go ahead and power up miranda here and we are not going to use dragoons whatsoever even though hey no dragon block staff this time miru is going to go ahead and use speed up on miranda as well now i also went and picked up some spark nets for this fight because of course the dragon spirit of the divine dragon is uh it doesn't have an element just like the divine dragon in general but we're going to go ahead and we're going to use this Psych Bomb X here on the Divine Dragon Spirit. Two hundred and thirty-six percent or so it looked like. Nine thousand nine. Are you kidding me? It's over nine thousand. Nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine damage with that Psych Bomb X out of Miranda. I was not expecting that much damage. I said I was going to break it, but I didn't think by that much. Worth mentioning that the Divine Dragon only, Spirit only has 16,000 health. Burnout on Miru. Nice choice, Divine Dragon, for only 408 damage. Haha, <laughs> you stink. We're going to go ahead and actually just use an addition from Dart here. Even though I stinky pooped it. And Miranda's going to go ahead and use a big ol' spark net. Two hundred and twenty-six percent for three thousand seven hundred and forty-six. Absolutely wrecking this boss. Let's go ahead and Miru potentially will finish off the Divine Dragon Spirit. Doesn't it feel so good just annihilating bosses? What an insane party. Goodbye, Divine Dragon Spirit.
That, my friends, is all of the optional bosses that we can face here in Mayfill. And for that, we'll get 400 gold, 8,000 experience, and a Flash Hall magic item. Miranda leveling up to 38, though I don't think she needs it. 9,999 damage. Absolutely absurd. Nicely done, guys. And the chest it was guarding contains a, a D-Stone amulet? Uh... Okay. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> I don't know why that's the reward for defeating the Divine Drag. No idea, but hey, they gave it to us. Anyways, we have a save point here. Let's head this way. We have another room in front of us. Now, this is actually a kind of weird area. You'll see that there's like this maze with all of these lights coming up and you can see some of them lighting up red. So red is actually where we need to go. See, there's a floor here. However, if we step here still a floor but if you step right here oh no i fell yep you'll land down here but it's a good thing because there's an item right here that we can grab which is a bravery amulet again not very useful but hey you can you can find one there anyways we want to head back this way and this will put us right back into the maze room any time that you fall, you are going to end up in that area. So I thought I would just point that up. So anyways, we want to go there, to this way, up one, over, up here, and right into this room. Which is the part... Remember when I said that we could kill anything in here with a psych bomb, just kind of using it? Here is one of the best spots to level in the entire game. And in that chest, we can pick up a magic ego bell. The reason why is because it's got a pretty high encounter rate. You can kill everything with a Psych Bomb X without needing to do anything. The experience is one of the higher spots in the game. And most importantly, this beam here in the middle, if you go and walk over to it, this soul. Huh. I think I know it. This warmth really brings up some memories. We will stop, Dad. And that, my friends, instantly heals you. Wait for me. You can also, after that, just go ahead, stand here, press the button, and you will be healed. So that is why this is considered to be one of the best leveling spots in the entire game. The issue that I have with it, the issue that I don't really use it, is because I do think that if you have a turbo controller, uh, putting, going into Death Frontier and just sitting there, right? And the way that XP works in this game is you need so much of it to get to level 60. Like, it's kind of a ludicrous amount to get to level 60. That if you're using a, a, a turbo controller, which realistically, if you want to get to 60, you would want to do that. You just stand in Death Frontier and just sit there with Ultimate War Gods equipped and you just you just beat everything no matter what. You don't have to do anything. You can walk away. You go what do whatever. Here, you actually have to run around, get into fights, heal up every so often, use your Psych Bomb X. And because you're using Psych Bomb X, you're not getting any SP in case you're still leveling Dragoons and you're not gaining any additions or any addition experience whatsoever but hey while i was talking we did find this random encounter which is the hyper skeleton the hyper skeleton darkness base with 960 health and has a two percent chance of dropping the spear of terror which is of course uh you know a weapon available to buy much earlier in deningrad so don't really know why it exists here now this enemy is immune to every status effect in the game and will use status effects on you. It can hit you with a melee attack and then it can also use fear, confuse, poison, and stun. But you can also just go ahead and click on literally anybody, use the Psych Bomb X, have it sit at 100%, 100% and it will just kill it. Absolutely wild. So keep that in mind. This could be a really good place to level. It's just not one of my favorites. I prefer, I, I just prefer the the sachet farming technique or you know doing it this way i guess is fine anyways we want to walk out onto this and then we'll go up to over to up to this one here and then over to this door here now at this point you really don't want to fall because you have to redo the whole thing and that's just annoying huh rose don't come here
hate me if you want. But I cannot die now. Please wait until everything is over. What? Uh, I'm sorry, Rose, but we can't have that happen either. Anyways, we can head out. I know, it looks like there's something going on in that room, but there isn't. Anyways, I also highly recommend using the D-pad here because, well, it can get it can get pretty rough if you don't. Anyways, we want to come over here, cross down here, and this is actually a weird one. Go here, cross over here, and boom. Done. Whew. Got a little nervous there. I was like, I don't want to fall. We've come a long way, but where is the Signet Sphere? What's wrong? There is something over there. Oh, looks like another soul. Gah! Wait a minute. You. You're. No way. Yes, it is possible in this city. Lavitz! It's been a while, Your Majesty Albert. I knew it was you! Your Majesty Albert, I have the honor of seeing your face again. And Dart, while we have been apart, you have become strong. Yeah, since you left us, we've encountered many enemies. Enemies? That's why there are so many souls that know you. Huh? Souls that are attracted here remain with a variety of thoughts. That's why they are attracted by the gate of hell. Negative thoughts like attachments are the favorites of the devils from hell. And those devils are dri driving Mayfill, aren't they? Rose, there are many souls who know you. Yes, there are countless. Lavitz, tell me, why have you appeared in front of us? Maybe, are you helping us out? Uh, uh, Lavitz, don't come near me. La oh no! Get out of here. Wait, La- He was talking about the devils. I wonder if one of them is playing with the soul of Lavitz. What? I cannot think of anything other than that. Unforgivable. We gotta save Lavitz, my friends. Uh, but first, uh, I mean, we, we gotta get this item and this random encounter. And beautiful, we get two enemies that we have not encountered just yet. We get the Loner Knight that stands before us. Now here's the big deal with him. 2% chance of dropping darts like ultimate weapon, the Soul Eater. Of course, we already have it, but this is the only way that you can get more of them if you like sell it or do whatever. We also have the Human Hunter, which kind of reminds me of like the Terminator enemies that we saw earlier. These don't have an element at all, but they have 355 health and have an 8% chance of dropping a recovery ball. And and yes, a, a psychedelic bomb will just straight up kill both of these. It's that easy, my friends. Easiest fights ever, my friends. Now, the Loner Knight is... It doesn't do too much. It's probably the most dangerous enemy in this entire area, but I don't think you're going to have a problem handling it at this phase of the game. They can stun, they can confuse, and they can do a pretty sizable amount of physical damage. We can also come back here and grab this chest now, which is a healing rain. Not bad. Also, I highly recommend saving right now because the boss that we are about to face has a chance of dropping a very good item. And we're going to want to make sure we get it. So plan to reset quite a bit. Anyways, as soon as you're ready, we're going to use this teleporter. But first, I'm going to put Albert in the party. It just makes sense. Lavitz, why did you run away from us? <sighs> who? Who are you bastards? What? It's me, Dart. Dart. Don't you recognize us? Majesty. Albert. Uh, 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 uh. Look at look at the back of Lavitz. There is something attached. 
It seems that that is affecting the soul. Oh, whoa, hey. It smells of devil dung. Ah, oh no! That's right, my friends. We have to fight the spirit of Lavitz. Well, sort of. Now, you could put Rose in the party over Miranda, which probably wouldn't be a terrible idea. You'll be just fine regardless. This isn't that difficult of a fight. Lavitz's spirit is, of course, wind-based elemental. And we are just going to go and, uh, and sit here and, and we're just going to guard. Just sit here and guard on up. And as soon as we get the option, talk, talk to Lavitz. It's me, Dart. Don't you recognize my face? Ugh. Dart. And he'll turn around and we can attack him. But first, we want to make sure that we go ahead and use... Uh, hello? We'll go ahead and use uh, speed down on Lavitz's spirit here. And you could use Miranda to actually uh, uh, physically attack or use magic attacks to destroy this thing. Lavitz's spirit is not that difficult, but it does have the ability to uh, confuse everybody. It has about 5,000 health and again has a 50% chance of dropping a very, very powerful weapon for uh, for um, for Albert. So we're going to want to make sure that we have enough here. Let's see. We have... We're going to go ahead and use Miranda to cast the Psych Bomb X on the back here. Two hundred and thirty six percent. Let's see if it does enough damage to actually one shot. Perfect. What? But we're not done yet. Now we have to deal with the real enemy. <laughs> what a show. It was so moving a reunion that I'm totally choked with tears. Who, who are you? Oh, excuse me. My name is Zachwell. I'm a resident of the darkness. You've taken over Lavitz. Yes, I have. The man insisted he was so worried about you that he couldn't bear dying. I thought it was a little presuming, but I granted him momentary life. You! Lavitz was my friend. How dare you? You will never get away with this. Oh, can you defeat me? <laughs> and here we go. The demon finally reveals himself, and we can take on the darkness-based enemy, Zachwell, that has about 12,000 health. Now, right off the bat, I'm going to go ahead and uh, power down this guy just a little bit so that our dear friend Miranda can smack him around just a little bit harder. That sounds ideal to me. And lucky for us, we are able to get a power up uh, from Albert onto Miranda. So, Zach, well, you have to be careful of a couple things. Uh, lucky for us, he does have a fireball, fire elemental magic attack that he will use. Hopefully, he'll target Dart with it, and Dart's immune to fire damage at the moment, so no big deal there. He can also extract soul, which causes the can't combat status. Has a chance to also attack with his melee weapon, his big scythe that he has there, and uh, an ability called Death God, which does a bunch of dark magic damage to everybody in your party. We are actually going to go ahead and use some of my trans lights here that I went and picked up for Miranda. Uh, now that she's got that power up on her, Zachwell's got that power down. Let's see how much damage she can do with a trans light. I'm excited. Two hundred and thirty percent, three thousand four hundred and forty-three damage done to Zachwell. There we go. There's the melee attack that I was talking about coming out of him. Now, even potentially even better than that, I think what I want to do here. Let's go ahead and attack with Albert. Now, I could have used the speed up on Miranda to make this a little bit better, but I think I'm going to go ahead and pop her special. Which means, my friends, that we are going to get a boosted white silver dragon magic attack, which is going to do a tremendous amount of damage against Zachwell. Now, if the translate was already able to do almost 4,000 damage, I'm pretty sure this guy's going down. 
honestly one of the most useful spells in the entire game we've we've definitely used this one more than anything else well okay maybe maybe darts final burst has been used more Seven thousand six hundred and forty-one damage done to Zachwell. Is that enough to take him out? If we all... Yes, it is, my friends. Yes, it is. As we slowly have to wait for everybody to lose their Dragoon form so that Dart can go ahead and... Bam! Finally. Lavitz! Lavitz. Majesty, I am sorry. Even though I was being manipulated, I was... <laughs> I could even... Thanks to Zackwell. I could meet you again in death. You are not dead. You will continue to live in us. Nice. Not as nice. There's no time left. I will lead you to where the sphere of the magic blocker is with my last strength. <laughs> Farewell, Dart. Lavitz. Thank you. I mean, come on. How is that not incredible? Ah, oh, but we didn't get the item, so I gotta redo the fight. Second time is the charm, though, and we get the Halberd. One of the best items in the game for Albert, which is really cool. And, of course, a healing rain, which you'll get no matter what. What's really cool about the Halberd is that's actually the weapon that Lavitz was just using. Pretty cool. And 12,000 experience, which should mean everybody gets a level up except for Miranda. Dart hit 43, Albert 38, Rose 38. Very nice. And we get that item. It only took two tries. Not bad at all. And with the rest of the power that Lavitz had left, he opened the way to the Signet Sphere with us, which is this giant beam of light here. And if we click on it... We made it. Yes. The moon has not set yet. The signet sphere is still safe. I mean, Shauna is still safe. Once we go up this road of souls, there will be no return. We are climbing up? No! Not yet, my friends! Wait. I have to make the final preparations. Okay. But hurry. Sure. I mean, it's going to take me a little while because, you know, we have to go defeat every optional boss in the game and then I got to grind all my additions out and I got to hit level 60. And that's right, my friends. This right here is the point of no return. Once you do agree to use this beam of light, that is it. You are in the end game now, my friends. No snappity doodahs going on here. No, no, no. Uh, so what we have to do and what we're going to be doing is the next couple of episodes are going to be dedicated to uh, going back and in, in taking down the dragoon spirits that we saw in Velweb. And of course, the ultimate boss of the entire game in uh, the fallen tower of Flanvel. 
getting all of the items that we need for a perfect save file, uh, grinding to level 60, all of that is going to be done before we tackle the, uh, this this beam of light that Labbit so graciously opened for us. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the next few episodes. I really do because it's going to be a lot of fun and I can't wait to break certain fights. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Huge shout out to those of you watching the premieres every Monday, Wednesday, Friday around 2 p.m. Eastern. I sincerely appreciate you guys. You are the bee's knees. It's true. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Don't even let anybody tell you that bees don't have knees because I'm pretty sure they do. I think. Anyways, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. And remember, never give up, never surrender to the devildom.